హీ త్రైలోక్యా హాయ్ నవ్యా నా కజన్ ఈస్ ఫోర్సింగ్ మీ టు లర్న్ ఆర్టిఫిషియల్ ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ ఐ ఆల్సో హర్డ్ దట్ అవర్ ఫ్యూచర్ ఇస్ రిలయింగ్ ఆన్ దిస్ సో ఐ జస్ట్ వాంట్ టు నో మోర్ అబౌట్ దిస్ సో హౌ కెన్ మీ గెట్ ఇన్ టు దాట్ ఐ అండ్ మై ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఆర్ డిస్కసింగ్ అబౌట్ ద సేమ్ టాపిక్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్టిఫిషియల్ ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ యూ కెన్ కమ్ అండ్ జాయిన్ అలాంగ్ విత్ ఓకే షూర్ హలో గైస్ షీ ఇస్ నవ్యా అండ్ షీ వాంటెడ్ టు నో మోర్ అబౌట్ ఏఐ హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఐ జస్ట్ వాంట్ టు నో దట్ వాట్ ఎగ్జైట్స్ పీపుల్ అబౌట్ ఏఐ could anyone explain that i think i'll be able to do that okay artificial intelligence is one of the most fascinating and universal fields of computer science it has a great scope and since it is uh, increasing tremendously it has a great scope in the future as the name suggests artificial intelligence holds the tendency to make a machine think like a human artificial intelligence has been around for a very long time like uh, helping us proving theorems and even playing games like chess some movies that have depicted that have depicted artificial intelligence are like vision in iron man and marvel movies and even uh, vision and ultron even some indian movies like robo and ravan depicting shahrukh khan and rajnikanth have also depicted artificial intelligence very beautifully ai seems so complicated how do we get familiarized with ai okay i will try to explain about it to begin with the ai first you, we need to know about the search algorithms in ai what is search algorithms in ai it is nothing but he helps in the solving the search related problems what are search related problems search related problems are nothing but it helps in the search related problems like search space and a goal state these algorithms are helps helps in solving the real time operations such as as well as normal time operations basically they are classified into two types uninformed and informed search so what is uninformed and informed search uninformed search is nothing but it is a simple algorithms which follows the brute force brute force way and it also called as blind force blind search what is informed search it is nothing but it consists in information at the goal state so that we can go to the goal state easily classified into two types like in uninformed and blind search we have the brute force search uniform cost search depth force search depth limited search iterative deeping depth first search and bidirectional search as well as in informed search there are three types best first search and a star search and hill climbing search okay how about we begin with breadth first search yeah i can explain about it breadth first search is uninformed search it is also be said as blind search or brute force method before going in depth what is breadth first search we have to know what are uninformed and informed searches mean uninformed search is that it doesn't have any additional information about the following states or it only does have a procedure whereas informed search is that it does have a procedure along with some additional information now now what bfs is that bfs is the most common search strategy which is used for traversing the tree or a graph this algorithm searches breadth wise that's why it is called as breadth first search in this algorithm it starts with an initial node and then it proceeds to explore all the nodes adjacent to it so this algorithm what happens in this algorithm is that it starts traversing in the level wise order which uh, doesn't go down the level until the all the nodes in the level are explored so this algorithm searches will be implemented using the queue data structure and it uh, follows the first in first out principle you know there will be two ends for a queue one is used for inserting the data one is used for deleting the data inserting data is called the nq operation deleting the data is called as dq operation So let us take this as an example and let us see how we can write an algorithm for BFS using the queue data structure. So this is an algorithm. So what happens is that step 1 if you visit the first level you have to enter it into the we have to enter that first element onto the queue. This is the step 1. What happens in step 2 is that if the queue is empty then return fail and stop. What happens in step 3? is that if the initial node the first element which we have entered into the, which we have put it in the queue if it is the goal node then we have to return success and stop fourth step if initial node is not the goal node then we have to remove and we have to explore its children and then put those children into the queue step 5 you have to keep traversing the graph until you find the goal node so this is about the algorithm so why we are using this algorithm is that we have uh, we have to find the shortest path while traversing so it gives us the shortest path that's why we are using this algorithm we understood the algorithm it will be more clear if we go with an example i will take up 
For the example sake, I am considering this graph. Let us take A as initial node and G as a goal node. That means we are searching for G right now from the point A. For this, we have to consider a empty queue first of all. Then after, we have to take the initial node A and put into the queue. Then after, we have to make it visited and we have to dequeue from the queue. Then after, we have to check the children of A. They, those are B and C. And the both B and C should be sent into the queue. They are here. Now in the queue, the first element is B. Now we have to check the B's children. Those are D and E. We have to put them into the queue and we have to delete it from the queue. In this way. Then after, in the same level, we are having C. So we have to check C's children and we have to put into the queue and we have to dequeue C from the queue. In the same way, we will be visiting all the nodes in the level by level and then we will be dequeuing the elements. And in the final, we will be reaching the level 3 and we will be uh, reaching the goal node which we wanted. And then we will be dequeuing the same G also from the queue. And in the final, we will get an empty queue and the traversal path we have, which we have followed is A, then in the level 1, B, C and then in the level 2, D, E, F and G at the last. This is the traversal path. If we come to the performance wise of the BFS, it is a complete algorithm. I am telling this because we can find a solution for sure and it is may not be optimal every time because we cannot find the optimal solution every time. And the space and time complexity of BFS is big O of B power D. Here B is the branching factor and D is the depth of the shallowest node. Okay, so how can we implement this with a programming language? I think I can implement that. We can implement it in, in any of the following languages like C, C++, Java, Lisp, Prolog or Python. I have implemented in Python because due to its availability of vast libraries and also easy to implement. So, First, initializing the graph. This statement initializes that graph. A containing B, C as neighbor nodes, B containing D, E as neighbor nodes, and similarly the whole thing. So, we are having two empty list visited NQ, and the function BFS, what it actually does is whenever this is called with a starting initial vertex and the goal vertex, this function is called. In uh, that particular starting initial vertex is inserted in both the queue uh, empty lists uh, visited and queue, and this while loop uh, in this uh, that queue is popped from the uh, the node is popped from the queue. Then if it compares that node with a goal node. It is if it is equal, then goal node is snitched and breaking is done. Else we'll move on to the next node, uh, the neighbor node of that initial node. So this statement does that thing so the when we run that program the it first to print the sequence a b c d e f and then g and when g is found it will print the statement goal node is found okay this is so interesting and informative so where can we use these search algorithms in our real life in real life applications include broadcasting in a network cycle detection and web crawler etc also, we can include short path, shortest path in a graph, social network to test the graph is a bipod or not, and the fourth focusal al algorithm. This came out to be very interesting. I just want to know more about this. Let us all meet again with more such algorithms in the next videos.